All right. So this is a continuation of the um, bird song classifier with machine learning project. Uh, in the last video, we did the data pre-processing. And just a recap, in the pre-processing steps, we filter the data set to include only the three species selected. We remove duplicates and we selected 30% of the um, training samples to set aside as test. And the remaining 70% are used for training and validation. So the training and valid um, the training and the test sets were saved in my Google Drive in the project folder as the train DF and test DF. And uh, now we're going to move on to the data cleaning step. So I'm going to be applying data cleaning to both the data, um, train DF and the test DF. And so I'm going to first import libraries. And uh, just like before, I'm going to import library for drive access first. And I'm gonna have to mount my drive. Content slash drive. And it's gonna ask me to connect to Google Drive again, which I will do right now. Okay, now the drive has been mounted. I'm going to import the standard libraries. NumPy and Pandas. Okay, and then I'm going to load the train and test CSV files that uh, uh, we extracted in the pre-processing step. I'm going to call the train df the train df variable. Content drive my drive project and train df and csv. And I'm going to take a look at the first few rows of the train df. So here's the train data frame. And I'm going to do the same thing for the test data frame. Okay. Looks good. And I'm going to start my data cleaning process. So the first step is I'm going to inspect each column for any non-values, which are uh, not a number of values. Uh, to do this, I'm going to loop over all the columns. Yeah, so columns. I'm going to print out the column name. I'm going to print out the value counts. Nope. I'm going to print out uh, is no a sum, which is it will count the number of non values in that column. And then I will print a little separator between each column prints. As we can see here, um, only latitude and longitude contains non-values, which indicates that the latitude and longitude is missing. So let's see. Yeah, for example, in the train DF, we can see that this row for Boswa, the latitude and longitude is uh, not a number, which means they're missing. So this is something that uh, we might want to um, take a look at when we work with the latitude and longitude columns. The rest columns looks OK here. And then I'm also going to step two. I'm going to inspect each column, any outliers, um, or anything that needs special attention.
Similarly, I'm going to loop over the columns. I'm going to print out the value counts. Oops, column in. And I'm going to print a little separator as well. Okay, so now I've printed the value counts for each of the columns. We can see that Comsen and Yiwa Kuang has slightly more um, instances and Barswa around 10 more. Um, it's not a huge difference, so I'm not very worried here. For the secondary labels, it looks like majority of them um, do not have a secondary label. So I'm thinking secondary labels, probably we can just drop. And to keep track of the uh, columns I want to drop, I am going to create a list called drop columns. So the first one we want to drop is probably secondary labels. And then we can continue looking. So the type column here, we can see, um, you know, call and song seem to be the most um, number of instances. Some of them seem to have a lot more information, like including the life stage or um, the gender of, of the bird. Um, this the gender and life stage is probably not something that we would need to look at since um, it seems like majority of them are just, um, you know, call or song. So this is probably a column that we'd want to clean up. So I'm gonna just make a list of the columns that we want to clean up. And then next is the latitude and longitude. Uh, I'm going to ignore these for now, but uh, something that uh, we'd want to do is probably use the latitude and longitude, longitude to find the country and continents of um, the recording. Okay, and then uh, I think for the scientific name and common name is just for our information. We don't really need it for the model building. So I'm going to also um, put them in the drop columns list. Okay, and similarly for author, probably not something that we would really need to look at as well as license. And just looking ahead, I also know that the URL is not something that we would need. So I'm just going to put the URL here as well. OK. And uh, looking at the rating column, it looks like a majority of them are at least rated a 3. Um, some of them, as we can see here, are very poor ratings. but um, it seems like majority of them have very pretty, fairly good quality, so I wouldn't be too worried about this. But um, this is, um, you know, a lot of different categories here. Um, probably if we want to use this rating column, we'd want to um, binarianize it. So anything below three, we can make it zero. Anything above three, we can make it one. Something to think about. And then we have the file name and the duration. So file name we can see is all unique. And the duration column is something that we can look at later once we do the EDA. All right. So now that uh, we have uh, looked at um, each of the columns, we have a list of columns that we want to drop, which is these guys right here. 
I'm just going to move this down into a new section. Okay. okay, so I already put the columns I want to drop into a list. So now I'm going to use the drop function from uh, pandas to drop these columns. X is equal to one means I want to drop the columns and in place equal to true means I want to replace the original data frame with this uh, updated data frame. And let's just take a look at the data frame after these columns have been dropped and this looks pretty good. And I'm going to just do the same thing for the test DF. And the second thing is on our list is uh, we want to clean up the type column. So let me just create another section here. And um, before we clean up the type column, let's just take a look at what are some of the you know most frequent types. We had 10. So you can see here the most frequent types are probably call, song, and then some of them have both calls and songs, which we can name it as both. And then some of them have are blank, which we can name and name them as blank. So I will go ahead and do that here. I'm going to use the lock function to um, find the instances that match my search criteria. Type contains call. So here I'm saying if the type contains call and I'm going to copy this bit. And the type contains song. By looking at the type column, then I'm going to change the type to both. Okay, and then if it only contains call, I'm just going to copy this. Then I'm going to change it to call. And then if it only contains song, I'm going to change it to song. Okay. And then if it contains this blank list, then I'm going to change it to blank. So if it's a blank list, then instead of contains, I will use This equals equals as um, you know if it's exactly equal to this blank list. Okay, I am going to run this and let's look at the value counts again. It looks like one of them is just song, so I'm going to just copy this and change this to uppercase song. And then let's take a look again. So these guys are the ones that don't contain either call or song, right? And we would just put them as blank. I'm sorry, this one should have been blank. I realize I made a mistake here, so let me just rerun everything above to 
fix this mistake. Yeah, so now we can see the blank here. Okay, yeah, so catching up to where we were, <clears throat> the these guys don't have any call or song specified in a list. So for these, I'm just going to change them to blank. And to do that, should we do this? If it is not, call. And I'm just going to copy this. If it is not song, then if it is a, it is not blank, then if it is not both, let's change this to blank. Okay, and let's take a look at the value counts again. As expected, these guys have now been changed to blank. You can see the number increased from 120 to 126. And now the type column has been cleaned up. OK. And I will repeat this process for the test data frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these df into um, a header and I can just copy the cell here and then I can paste it in for test df and I will just repeat the same process as what we did for train. Uh, we can see here that uh, actually there's no um, instance where the string contains song, so with the uppercase S. So I'm just going to delete this because we don't need it anymore. And then um, similarly, if um, for these three, since they didn't specify a call or song type, I'm going to change them to blank. And let's just review one last time. And as expected, we have four types. So now both the train and the test data frame have been cleaned up for the type column. And the next thing I want to do is, let's take a look at our list, is we want to use the latitude and longitude to find the country and continents. OK. So I've decided to cut this video into two different videos um, as it's getting quite long. So as a recap, this uh, first video, we covered the first half of the data cleaning uh, workbook where we loaded the data frames, we inspected each column for non values, and we inspected each column for any outliers. And then after that, we dropped the unused columns and uh, cleaned up the type column. And in the next video, I'm going to go over how to extract the countries and continents using latitude and longitude. See you soon.